Let me hear from the clan Elias, bring you three stars from our clan wars. So the next one from the Korean Dogs War I'm going to show you is it's another another hog attack. Um, I wanted to show you this one. Now firstly, I'm sure you'll recognize the design. Um, it's called Anti-Dragon. Um, they call it Anti-Other Things as well, but to be honest with you, anything else pretty much can uh, three star it, um, even with dragons you can actually, but it is it is quite a sturdy one against dragons, I've seen a lot of dragons fail against it. Um, but our man Stu died is, is coming in uh, with his hog attack, so checking out his composition on the bottom there, he's just got himself the five archers, three giants, three wall breakers, the, three, the use of the three wall breakers in this is very interesting, um, the six wizards, and then uh, 30 hogs and the clan castle full of hogs as well and three heal spell so um, looking at this design now I have to say again I'm not too sure whether this was a cleanup attack at all uh, or not but my feeling is it probably was a cleanup attack or it was just really lucky how he lured um, both both uh, anyway it's just uh, just no, let's just show you how the beginning here works what he did is he uses three wall breakers to come in which obviously lure, but at the same time you'll see it actually sets off all three um, of the giant bombs. So um, I'll, I'll speak to Stuart and actually find out whether uh, that was deliberate or not, whether he knew that they were there or not. He might have already known they were there. But uh, anyway, respect to him for that, because that's that was a pretty good use. Nice cheap way of getting rid of the giant bombs and luring. So there we go, putting his poison down with his archers and wizards just to finish off uh, the clan castle troops. Taking a little bit of time, but then again, you know, in this situation he's got 35 hogs, level 4 and level 5. He's already taken out three of the, the, the giant bombs. Not going to be a hell of a lot stopping him in this uh, attack. <clears throat> there we go. So he lays the giant down just in front of where he deploys and then using six finger deployment. Um, <clears throat> the laying of the giant at the beginning is just so that all the defences focus on the giant, not the actual hogs. It just protects them that extra little bit. Um, it bringing up his clan castle full of troops from the top area there, supported by a heal spell. So you can see that in a few minutes he's going to be the, the defences are all going to be cleared up and he's still going to have most of his hogs left. Um, so an extremely quick and extremely solid attack here by Master Studid. Speed that up. Just to watch the clean up, but he does it in good time. And with most of his hogs left actually looking at that. Yeah, well done there, Stude. That's a good stuff. That's what we like. Um, yeah, cool. So there's the final composition down the bottom. There you can see it's a straight hog attack. A few troops he uses for the cleanup. The the cleverly positioned three wall breakers to set off the giant bombs, and three giants to 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 drop in front of the hogs before deployment. So uh, yeah, well done for that. Great attack. Cool. Hope you enjoyed that.